Yeah, yeah, I think I should go with this. It feels more comfortable. Yeah, it looks also better. You think better yeah. than the Also yeah. more space at the yeah. shoulders. Yeah, that's I think that's it. That's, that's the one. Yeah. Okay, I'll go with this mm -hmm. Okay, we're back in the heart of uh, Turkey. So we're gonna hit that tour up, right? Let's hit up the next tour. It's a, it's a surprise tour. I don't really know what it's about, but Jackie Plant. Let's do this. Remember him from yesterday. We're very good, man. Searching for our tour now. Where are you going? Wego. Wego? What's it called? Fuego is here, Fuego. Oh, there. Okay, right. thank there you. There we have to go. You see him? All right, thank you. See you soon, man. Odd meeting point. <laughs> it's an odd meeting point. Yeah, it's very odd. Another guy, really nice guy here from Turkey. And, um, well, I think he's from Turkey. From Turkey, right? Yes, from Turkey, am, yeah. <laughs> and the name of your tour is? Uh, this one is Fener Balat and Pierlotti Experience. All right, he's gonna show us around his beautiful city, Istanbul. Let's go. Let's start. Wow, we finally get to ride the train. The train. Yeah. Okay. We got off of the tram, we are heading to the bus now, which is the other side of the... Okay, the bus. There is also an addition to being, uh, visiting the neighborhoods, residential neighborhoods, also experiencing all type of uh, public transportation that the Istanbulists are using. Okay. So we start with the tram, we will go with the bus, and then cable car and uh, ferry. old part of the city which was once it was Constantinopolis, the capital of Roman Empire and the other side is called New City. It is just newer compared to this side which confused the visitors for the first time the Bosphorus, Black Sea, Bosphorus, Marmara Sea, Golden Horn. The confusion for the visitors to Istanbul for the first time since they know Istanbul is set about two continents as Asia and Europe, they, when they are here they think if this is the Europe, the Asia must be there. Yeah, because of the bridge. Uh, yeah, like actually this bridge was the bridge. Exactly. Yeah. So it is not. Both sides of the Golden Horn is still Europe. To go to Asia, you need to cross the Bosphorus. Not the exactly. Uh, I guess there is not the, the Asia. Asia is right there. So, how old is Istanbul? Enough? Istanbul, the history of Istanbul uh, is. The, the more you go deeper under the ground, the older it gets. Oh. But more evidence of something, a nation who left something behind is going back to 5th century BC, the Greek era. If you walk now, we will head to the bus. The bus is just the other side of the uh, bridge. I think it's pretty cool to go off by, by bus and train and stuff. Experience. Yeah, Otherwise, we could yeah. be in a private bus. Sandwich boats. They have 
have been here more than 50, 60 years, grilling the fish inside the boat, and they serve it to those people who want to have a fresh fish sandwich after the shopping. Yummy. Okay. And then, additionally, there is a drink which goes well with the seafood. Fermented tulip juice. Uh, the, the, the taste is interesting. If you are trying for the first time, probably you won't like it. You want to try it? Chili, salty, uh, and sour. But the more you try, the more you like it. It goes well with it. Chili, salty, and sour. You want to try it? There you go. Don't expect any sweetness. It's not a sweet drink. Oh, okay. uh, it looks like it. It looks that's why that how people get the fish. Make a version. Let me give it a shot. It tastes like pickle juice. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs>
or telling you in another way, it is like the Vatican for the Orthodox Christians in Turkey. So that's the importance of it. One of the main difference between the East and the West churches, uh, the Eastern one will, have, will be more iconic and the Western one are the sculpture. Mm -hmm. From outside, they were not really okay to, to decorate or make the church so beautiful. When it looks very simple from outside, when you come inside, it's much more impressive. The opposite section is usually separated by this wooden wall and decorated with the icons that they are uh, the stories in the Bible. And another difference is in this kind of Orthodox churches, you don't see Jesus on is usually a happy looking man. God on top in the high spot. So on the other side, which is called Nif, we saw the relics in a glass. This side, there is the coffin of uh, some of the important ladies in Christianity. There is three of them. Uh, two of them are in the coffin made of uh, pure copper. And the other one is uh, silver. The last one. one question: Are the are the bodies still in those coffins? Uh, in fact, normally the bodies are buried under the ground, mm -hmm. and according to the rules of this Christian, they take the body off the ground after a while, bring the relics to the church, wash them with the holy wine, and that depends the the importance of the person. Some of them are kept in a church like this, and some of them are buried back. Uh, in the grave, or sometimes you just keep it in the important uh, section of the church. So yes, the relics are inside. Wow. 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 That was amazing, my friend. Uh, what's next? The <laughs> next is to see the colorful Ottoman houses. Ah, awesome. Let's go. Yes. which are suited underneath of those houses that they are 150 to 200 years old. And on the other hand, in addition to the houses which have been renovated, there are also houses waiting to be renovated. For example, there is that one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying like right now there's a gentrification going on here? Or? It did last 10, 15 years, that's right. So until uh, 1985, that uh, these houses entering UNESCO World Heritage List, they have been destroyed to turn into the apartment blocks, which we can see one of them right at the end over there. And after 1985, they have been uh, protected and that they are no longer being uh, removed. If, if they get very old, nothing to be to uh, renovate anymore, then you can only build a house with the same architecture. Another fact of those houses survived, when you come closer to the water, there is more old houses compared to further, since it was smelly. So sometimes bad things happen to bring good things. The bad smell uh, saved the old houses. Therefore, there is many of them closer to the water compared to further is more apartment blocks. Interesting. Oh my god, we would have never discovered this side of town Indeed. if it wasn't for him, man. I... What well, kind of people are there living here right now? Like, because after gentrification, you see like more like uh, richer people richer or, or, or snobby. <laughs> well, I would Just say or hip, hipster people. Hipsters for sure, yeah. Hipsters will be more in the area where there were cafes. They are the one who brought the change to the neighborhood. The people who live in the area. They will be people who live here for probably the last 40, 50 years. They are the middle class people. They are not poor people. Outside. Okay. Okay. So now we are climbing up the hill to see that the uh, red school that I show you from the distance with the huge top. It's a very, very steep hill. Very steep. <laughs> I'm having. 
issues get done. <laughs> yes. Wow, look at that. Man. So this is a church? No. Previous thing, it was a religious school belonged to the Patricio. And later, a student, Constantinos. When he went to study in France, he came back as an architect. At that time, it was 1881, he decided to build a new patriarch. After that, the World War I came. After the World War I, Christians were sent away from Turkey. The building never reached to the goal that it wanted to be. Oh. So 1881, and till today, it's still not a church. A school with capacity of 650 students. This is beautiful. They made this jewelry, huh? Wow, it's wonderful. Yeah, actually, yeah. that's for the ankle seat, she said. Oh, is this for the ankle or this? Ah, it's for the ankle. Oh, okay. Cool. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Uh -oh. Mama's coming. Okay, let's continue. This, this is soup kitchen. This is where they cook the food twice a day for the kids around. It is for homeless kids, for orphans, as well as for the poor families' kids where they can come and eat here. Additionally, they also, anyone can bring, leave the toys here without asking for any money. And the kids can come take these do toys to take it to their homes. Amazing. Ah, very cool. It's a great place. Today, let's go and see what they have to Watermelon for dessert, oh, potatoes really with the minced meat of lamb, and the rice. You can go inside, by the way, it's like a very tiny house. This is where the cooking happens here. I think this is about it, right? Yeah. yeah. So you're gonna try one of those, yeah? It is, it is. So you like scooping yeah. with both hands? Yep. Okay, never did scoop. Yeah, you won't kiss me anymore today. <laughs> yes, just. No, it doesn't smell bad, so it will, it will kiss you. Don't worry. Ooh, good. You like it? Wow, cool. His mother is uh, the one who cooked it. Wow, wow. you made your mom. <laughs> It has been 30 years she's cooking. Really? Yes. Really good. Tell Thank your you. mother. Really one more? Okay, yeah. one more. <laughs> 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 the full baked lamb's head with the cheeks, tongue, and the brain. Oh, it's so delicious! Yes, let's try. I'll try it. Thank you. These are the cheeks of the lamb. There is tongue underneath. Tongue, tongue, and this is the brain. It's all baked together. Alright. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's put some spices on. New destinations. I'm really going. I'm really going new on this one. Spice on the brain. Oh, not so much spice. Is it hot, hot spicy or? Uh, very like mild. Right. Cheeks, <laughs> yummy. When you say cheeks, are you talking about like exactly. the cheeks? Uh -huh. oh, okay. Yeah. All right, here goes guys. This is serious. Is that the cheek? This is the cheek. This is the cheek right here. This is the cheek. This is the cheek. Cheek's not bad. Go with the tongue. 
This is like a, uh, like a circus dish or? Mm -hmm. um, okay. The cheek was okay, but the tongue was like, oh. <laughs> Now the brain. She mm -hmm. <laughs> knows this is hard for me. I know how picky it is with food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're good. I'm trying. This is the brain right here. It'll make me smarter. <laughs> I hope so. I heard that. <laughs> oh, thank you. No. A little mushy tasting. Shedeve. Alright, I'm a soldier. I tried, I tried, right? Soldier. So what's next? I'm the guy who took the vegetarian girl into a place who baked the lamb's head. <laughs> <laughs> That's a success. So you can have baklava in all different parts of the world, but you will never have the right baklava until you try it in Turkey. In oh. Turkey yes. Simple. I guess simple. Hello, welcome. Hello, thank you. Hello, thank you. How are you? I'm very good, very good. So this one called muscle. Remember the muscle? You yeah. have shape oh, yeah. like a muscle. Like right. Thank you. And this is yours. Oh, thank you. Wow, that's a lot of baklava. They're fat. Let's do it. The baklava I can live with. Lamb's head. I will. Oh, it's good. Very good. So it's different tasting than the other places. The other ones were too sweet. This is good. This is a cavern called Lagora, which was built in 1890s. And it is famous for the song that says This is Agora Tavern, this is where the big love born from here Pretty much every single Turkish person knows about the song And the tavern is have been hitting here since 1890s Bravo! So let's continue to catch the tram And tram will take us off the old city Time to see what the new city looks like beautiful gravestones in Turkey they can be found in this particular cemetery wow. as it is one of the oldest cemetery the reason it is the oldest uh, the dome which is among the cemetery further in the middle is belong to one of the Muslim saints known as Ayub who came here in the 6th century AD so but this is like the only cemetery or, uh, or everywhere around the city uh, it is not the only cemetery, but uh, it is the oldest one 
and the second biggest one in the city. Wow. As in Asian side, there is Good even question. a bigger one. Good question. The Asian side. But it is the most expensive one, by the way, since oh. it is very close to the old city. The land is very expensive here. So, since this is a very old cemetery, dates back to 14th to 15th century. Oh, that, uh, old. that old, yes. Oh. These are the old ones, dates back to the Ottoman era, where everyone actually had their own graves, individual graves. To know the old one, the big difference is the old one, which means from 1453 till 1923, it will be with the Arabic inscriptions. Okay. Which is this one right here? Exactly. Just looking at the grave, it gives you the idea or like, is it a male, female, child, an adult, religious person, ordinary person, is all giving you the clues. For example, when it is a lady, further up, those ones, you can see mm -hmm. like I the see. Hair, I can see it, yeah. It's in both sides. If it is a child, then it a boy, then it will be with the face, but smaller. The little one right there. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Uh, Again, a lady one can be just like this with the flower. Those flowers sometimes, which is hard to read now because by the time it has been in the race, uh, the flower with, uh, for example, five roses, it will give the idea of she had five children during her lifetime. When it reached to 1960s, 70s, Istanbul population burst and there was no enough space that everyone had their own individual uh, great. Uh, the city municipality come with the new solution, the family graves. Family graves which mean the family buy a few meters square of the land and they keep burying any family member who die at the same place. In that way, wow. the size of the cemetery doesn't extend anymore and the land keep getting recycled, reused again and again. Mm. And briefly how Muslims bury their uh, dead people, it, it has been always suggested to bury uh, as quick as possible. If someone died last night, they would be buried today afternoon. Uh, Are they um, wrapped? Is that yes. something I heard? You cannot or? make a request to wear anything special. Uh -huh. Everyone wore the same cloth, uh, white cloth, nine right. meter of white cloth. Another thing is, in addition to the Latin inscriptions, you will also see the date, which confuses people. For example, in Ottoman time, we were using uh, Arabic, the Islamic uh, calendar. And after 1923, it was changed to Western calendar. Which means a person who was born before 1923, his birthday, uh, birthday marked on his identity with the Islamic calendar. And later when he died, after 1923, is the date he died, it will be marked in the Western calendar. The problem is there is nearly 600 years in between. So if the person lived about uh, 90 years, so it shows that person uh, lived over 600 years. Wow. <laughs> the confusion comes because we change from the Islamic calendar to the Western calendar. We're gonna take the cable car down now. to build a cable car over a cemetery, isn't it? Yes. In case of an accident, so you it's go like to the right place. It's sometimes on a very steep hill, and sometimes like people ask, how do they carry the grave over there? So you put in a cable car and push it down. <laughs> 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 wow. 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 
Turkish people are known for being very impatient, unfortunately. So even the ferry have to wait first and then people will get off and then the other people will move in. But they're already all waiting in that small room. <laughs> and they do the same thing for the plane. As soon as the plane tires touch the ground, in yeah, a few seconds they start get off of their seats, take the seat bed off and grabbing their bags. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in the plane they keep on saying, please sit down, the plane is still moving. Yeah. But they don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Sit in the crash here. This one? Make me a mask. Let's go. On the ferry. also to the highlights but in addition to that uh, to the off the beat and to the places which are not easy that you find on your own like off the beat path the tours that we have done today yes. so it has been a total pleasure Thank hosting you. you for five hours in a tour around Tener Balat the residential neighborhoods experiencing local uh, transportations and it's a great compliment to hear that I was uh, the best guy you're the best yeah. you're the best definitely Hey, what we do in America? This bar. Thank you. Your next visit to Istanbul. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Or you come see us. Yes. Then you will be yes. my guy. Netherlands, America, or Bulgaria. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The world is small. Yes, yes. indeed. Yes. 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 Yeah. Well, take care, my friend. Good yeah. luck. And we'll see you hopefully next time. You know? All right. Bye bye. Yes. Bye out there. Bye. <laughs> see you here in Istanbul. I'll touch 
We can't go yet until you tell us about these crosses you mentioned. Sorry. Oh, right. Sorry. That's yeah. it.